what is the importance of this customer relationship in an organization in that context what kind of a skills you teach to your customer base on the nuts and bolts of customer relationship think about amazon flipkart you know those people where they regularly meet 100 people in a single day Good evening and welcome to another episode of uh, Zoom with GS Kumar where we regularly meet inspiring freelancers coach business owners and startups Today we have a very special guest Kamini Besin who is a customer relationship coach founder of Kami Life a training coaching company for coaching budding entrepreneurs She has got about 35 years of experience in this field and dealt with 4500 happy customers so far she is on a mission to impact 5 lakh business enabling them to retain and be very creative in their process happy to welcome kamini basin to our show hello uh, kamini thank you yes thank you for a very nice introduction and good thank you start. first of all customer relationship is a very common area where every domain needs a customer relationship uh but i want to ask you because you are a coach what exactly is a customer relationship customer relationship is actually an aspect of business which is the most important because without customers there's no business so we start building a relationship from the day we start looking for our target audience when we have a product in our hand and this is exactly the process i went through so when i wanted to start my business i had already thought of a product but first thing i did was started doing the market research as to whether i have a competition and whether these things are already available and can i make a niche for myself mm-hmm. in that process i found that i have found a beautiful niche and i have huge audience at that time and this is mm-hmm. i'm talking about in 80s yes okay, okay. <laughs> you were not born then <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was a very interesting time for me. It right. was challenging, but uh challenging in the sense because not everybody at that time was going for business. Not many ladies were going for business. I yes. did and I I kind of slipped in very naturally. Luckily, I happened to be the daughter of a very successful businessman. Mm-hmm. And I think it came in the DNA with me. Okay. So it was natural. And now when I was doing uh, I was writing about was the your questions I realized customer relationship many businessmen also ask me and they point out this doesn't come in this area but they don't mm-hmm. realize customer mm-hmm. relationship flows through the business from the beginning till you stop your business. True true true. So you have to build your relationship with your target audience when you mm-hmm. decide on a product. you have to find out about the needs they have and make the product revolving around that needs mm-hmm. then test market it on them once your product mm-hmm. is ready the ideation mm-hmm. is done formed into a product and mm-hmm. then test market it on them if they say yes out of 10 which is what i did so i took 10 friends and family members i showed them the products fortunately for 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 me they they wanted to buy it and i gave it to them i said why not start it now with 10 sets and after that so my test is when you have already got six pieces sold out of 10 then you are ready to launch your product so i launched my product with an exhibition that was again building up my relationship so through this example i'm telling you how the customer relationship is built and then i started getting orders and then there were more relationships built and then it started evolving Wonderful. so this is how this is how customer relationship is so important so through every aspect of business when you when you go digitally or when you whether you go live when you start advertising reaching out through the market survey through the test marketing through launching your business then Set, uh, you know setting yourself sale in your business you are already starting your business relationship with your customers Wonderful. so there is no aspect that's left out <laughs> without building customer relationships 
and it happens the same because even your members in your organization your business uh, employees all of them are directly or indirectly connected with that because we are all together as a unit producing something whether it's a service or a product for our customers so the relationship is already getting built there okay. so what we do now is it's actually this is in last about 20 years when the customer relationship as a as a subject has come to the fore and people have started writing about it mm -hmm. so what the businesses now are doing is they have developed the certain method methodology has is developed strategies have been done, developed processes have been developed by which we give the best experience to the customer and then win their trust over sell them the product get their loyalty start getting their advocacy so that we can have a growing business so this is actually a growth tool for business mm -hmm. So see the, this this aspect is not been talked about because see ma, for me customer relationship is something where if my phone is not working internet is not working i quickly call my customer service and then get <laughs> some support right that's yeah. my that's the general uh, customers uh, aspect or touch with customer relationship uh, people yeah. but from a, from an organization perspective there are different functions and business units like hr finance sales marketing you know all that and as an organization i will be creating a unit where it becomes either profitable or it will give some execution where it will help me to grow my organization Absolutely. okay but customer relationship is not coming as a different function altogether so what is the importance of this customer relationship in an organization which will help the organization to bring something to towards a uh, business yes um now may i say that customer relationship as a function has come up separately because if you ask your sales people to do it especially with saas now you know the the tools that have come up come up uh, which are uh, te the techno technological tools we have machines which are if you go to certain stores you will find that they are they are actually putting in your data they are asking you did you come again do you have your phone do we have your phone number do yes, we have your address yes. and we yes. get points that's one mm. way of building up customer relationship because those points are what bring us back because i get mm. my discount in say 200 points maybe 200 rupees mm -hmm. when i'm buying a product so the businesses are already using it in a very clever way now so you need a person designated to do this take this data over from the sales people from the marketing people and you have to coordinate it with the crm the the customer relationship manager mm -hmm. what our uh, uh, my uh, uh, work is as a coach is to train up that particular person and the sales people and coordinate with the marketing people and talk to the production people to see mm -hmm. how you are going to be making your business totally customer centric because mm -hmm. you do realize without customer there is no business true true that true, is why true. nokia went where it went mm -hmm. that is why uh the 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 our tv in in bangalore uh, what is that called uh, they have they have other gadgets but that particular tv it just sank because they did not keep kept up with the time you have to keep up with the time okay and what no. happens mm. yes you have to be because and if you're not totally up, it's like in any business in any field if you're not updating yourself you become irrelevant so that True. product becomes irrelevant therefore innovation is based on the taste changing of the customer mm -hmm. so do you realize that the to keep up with all this the whole scenario of businesses has really changed very fast in last two years it's already been changing for 20 years but last mm -hmm. two years have speeded up the whole process mm -hmm. so now there so many businesses collapse so many new businesses have come up some of them don't even know 
what was their niche what is a product what was the function of that product mm -hmm. it's very important for not only the sales people and also the uh, uh, also the marketing people to know about the product is also the entire team you have to make them aware that mm -hmm. customer is uppermost because mm -hmm. if the business thrives the employees thrive with it and it keeps them motivated if customer relationship is kept on top or the customer becomes the center point of any business mm -hmm. then people will not go wrong because they know they're not working for the bosses they are working for themselves mm -hmm. to make sure that the product sells well right 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 yeah. well, having said that uh, see uh, customer experience depends on the customer relationship only okay so when yeah. i when i go to a hotel how they treat me makes a lot of sense for revisiting the hotel otherwise i don't uh, you know i immediately get angry and then say i'll i'll go to google and then review them a bad review you know and then come back yeah. so the entire customer experience is most most important in that context what kind of a skills you teach to your customer base on the nuts and bolts of customer relationship if you could talk, talk about that so the basic is you must know your customer that's number one mm. you must listen to your customer that's number mm. two number three if a customer is talking to you understand what he's trying to say what are his needs that is both for a hotel yeah like when you visit as a hotel you need they need to know what are you looking for are you looking for accommodation are you looking up for a restaurant hmm. or do you want to use it as an office room or some space up there so hmm. the uh, the so the skills the listening skills are very important empathy is very important because empathy helps them understand what the customer needs because right. we need to understand all of that negotiation skills are very important hmm. problem solving skills are very important because suppose you go today to lifestyle store and you bought something and there's something they don't have a manager so you're dealing with the with a sales person it's very important for the organization to give over that empower that 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 employee of there to take the decision there and then mm -hmm. to solve your problem so mm -hmm. uh, the the employees not along with the owners of the business are mm -hmm. solution givers to the customer so it it is very important that he is able to solve the problems number 3 he has also to see that are you giving the right experience if you if it's a live thing a live place then the setup has to be right so the example is that uh, i visited an exhibition i was invited to to come to an exhibition so I went there and i saw the clothes and all that were over there were very nice but my eye went to a wall which was not painted a part of it was broken okay now if i were them i, I would probably hide it with the screen and then <laughs> put my you know the clothing there that the stand there i wouldn't i wouldn't invite a you know customers who are coming to buy say for two days the mm. look over there and that that just puts you that puts off many people mm. Mm. it may not would of some but many mm. people it does especially business people right and right. i have not forgotten it i can it happened 30 years back mm -hmm. so that kind of detail for i is very that you create the right environment environment when mm. you are talking to a customer that's important okay. so you okay. have to be very very careful that you treat the customers as you want to want to be treated whether mm. it is um, you know where you're sitting or whether you are selling a product don't show mm. him a product which is badly wrapped <laughs> so okay okay it okay. has to be right presentation so every, okay. way, every way presentation is right let me tell you i learned a great thing as working in a hotel i was working in obra hotel that was my very first job as a 20 year old okay and for two and a half years i worked there what i noticed over there and i remember now is that my marketing skills came from there because okay. everything was just presented just right whether it was the way the the people were dressed up over the staff was dressed up over there the way mm. we greeted them the, mm. the way we tried to sell our products to them whether it was a hotel whether it was check 
checking in of of of, of a guest, mm -hmm. or whether it was taking him to the to the to the to the restaurant or to his room, everything mm -hmm. was just right. It was okay. it was nicely packed up. So the packaging mm -hmm. and presentation has to be right. Mm -hmm. So these are, these are few things which you you can't let a, a person come into a store where their papers littered in a corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The customer get put off because how, I'll tell you how it works on your psyche. If it is say a furniture store, which is where, which is where I work for about ten years, which mm -hmm. is which belongs to my family and it's still running. That is a high end furniture store. Now, okay. if you go over there and you see that, and we were very particular that if you've mm -hmm. got anything that's kept there, there should be no lines visible. There should be no paper littered anywhere. When you're talking to a customer, everything should be right in the place, in the right place. You have your paper, pen, everything. And then when you're talking to a customer, ask him what he's come for, with how you can help him. So talking skills, as I said, listening skills, uh, being eco-friendly, being an aware of your environment. Being aware of the uh, uh, of the body language of the customer, are you keeping him interested? Mm -hmm, are you mm -hmm. catching his Are you catching his attention? Mm -hmm, are you mm -hmm. are you there to solve his problem? Mm -hmm. Are you able to negotiate if he comes? If you are, if suppose you start onboarding him, I had an experience. Mm -hmm. I had experiences where customers would come, and in the very first meeting, they have placed order with me. Mm -hmm. I realized it was I was basically prepared to sell the product to them. Mm -hmm. And there was no magic. It was my preparation of having the designs ready for me to show to them, mm -hmm. asking them what was the what was the uh, what was their range they wanted, what was mm -hmm. the, so I knew knew all details about my product. So mm -hmm. when you are a salesperson, when you are in marketing. When you are a person who is representing your company, you mm. must know about your product inside mm. out when you're dealing okay. with customers. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Like I'm talking to GS, and GS has to tell me about your LinkedIn or all your products here you are you know dealing with. I expect you to be a master of everything, right? Mm -hmm. Just okay. You expect me to to know uh, everything about the business I do. Which is mm -hmm. coaching people in customer relationship, mm -hmm. right? So you ask me the questions, and I'm not able to answer. That means there's something. There is a gap there. So it, we are all human beings. We need to fill up the gap, and right, as quickly right. as possible. Number three, mm -hmm. when a customer is complaining or com customer is mm -hmm. giving a feedback, do mm -hmm. not take it as a complaint. Be very okay. clear. View it as a clearly a feedback. Because mm. feedbacks, as as trainers, we know, feedbacks helps us grow. True, true, true. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yes, and it should be immediately, mm. promptly. Yes. Take the step to correct your to correct yourself without taking mm. an umbrage that that guy mm. abused me or hurt me. None of the sort. Mm. He is only talking mm. about a particular product or a particular point. Take it mm -hmm. in that. If you take it mm -hmm. that way, your growth will happen speedily, mm -hmm. and you will make many customers on along the way. We often mm -hmm. become sensitive towards our feeling, not realizing we are here to do a job, and we should be able to discharge our duties as a person representing our company or our product. Mm -hmm. So, if you take it in that spirit. You mm -hmm. really move forward. You make many friends along the way. Mm -hmm. So very important to know that what a feedback is is nothing but a, a, an opportunity for you to improve yourself. Right. Now, right. if if that happens, that person will keep coming back to you. He will realize you've taken it in the right spirit. And there are some customers who who may want to modify a product in his particular way. Don't mm -hmm. take umbrage, even if you are the creator. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, uh, one day I I went to the 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 people who are making the tanjore paintings. You know, they're very sensitive artists. Mm -hmm. 
I insisted with this stand your artist that I wanted a blue color in that and an orange color, orange, blue and yellow on the Ganesha and blue at the background. I wanted him dancing in the dark with stars shining. She said, these are not my colors. I said, I'm your customer. <laughs> and God doesn't say you can't have certain colors. <laughs> this is my, this is going to be my God. I want to worship him in those clothes, and that's that's what I want. You know, she okay. did it for me. Oh, oh, oh. okay. And okay. I I absolutely love that picture of mine. I I give it a pride place of pride. Mm -hmm. So it is a cus and she made a great sale, and I remember her up to date. And I have recommended many people to her because she's a great artist. <laughs> so understand your customer. Sometimes you have to break certain traditional rules which you have set as rules in your mind. So be mm -hmm. malleable, be flexible. Mm -hmm. So flexibility, being a person who's dealing with customer, very important. Be flexible. Mm -hmm. When you're flexible, you will understand the other person's point of view also. And incorporate what the customer wants. Why? Because the customer is spending the money. Mm. So it is the golden rule is when you are taking any this any situation where you are dealing with a customer, please keep the point of view of the customer uppermost okay. and give him what he wants.